memories would probably be sitting at my mom's coffee table watching Disney Channel, just coloring on printer paper. It was always something that I've done. Uh, my parents always made sure that I had art supplies and I was either outside looking for like rocks and bugs or inside painting, drawing, cutting up things, making little paper boxes or using tape, glue, whatever I could find. And then I started really taking it serious about 22 where I was like, okay, no, I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. I'm not gonna try and fit something else just because someone told me that I'm more than likely not going to make money out of it. It was just getting back into it because I hadn't really painted for a while. So when I finally like went back to the Michaels and got some paint supplies and started doing it, I was like, I can't not do this. I can't live without it. It's kind of like meditating for me. Like as I'm painting or as I'm editing, I'm thinking about other things and literally solving life problems or philosophical things, you know, it's, and I just love the feel of it. The end, the end result's really cool, but it's literally the, the process that I love. Being a creator, it, you you have to be an entrepreneur also. So you have to you have to still use that other side of your brain. Um, so it does get hard to transition back and forth. Like my brain works if I'm creating, it's I want to be doing that, and then it's hard to get out of it. And then when I'm in the analytical, it's kind of hard to get out of that. So I do have to force myself to switch back over. Uh, but how I stay motivated while creating. Painting, I'll listen to a, a show, just like background noise, kind of storytelling, um, and a lot of coffee, a lot of coffee. <laughs> I do have what I call like my passion pieces, which would be, a lot of times paintings will take me like three months, a year, year and a half, two years to create, because I, I have to find the inspiration to go back to it. Um, but I have other paint, I have a few paintings that I created in just an hour or two of complete emotion. And those are the ones where I'll be listening to music full blast and just go at the paintings. And you can tell the difference between the brush strokes because the ones that I create in two hours, the brush strokes are chaotic. And the ones that I spend a lot of time on, everything is so meticulous. So I, I love taking my time with pieces because that's where the soul gets put into it is because I can, I can go back to a piece and if I'm painting over a same spot, I literally have flashbacks of where I was the first time I was painting on that piece, like what I was listening to or what I was watching or where I, exactly where I was. So that's really interesting. And the imperfections is where a lot of the art is. So I will spend time going back and making every line perfect, but that's where I think art helps me kind of develop and learn to not be su such a perfectionist. Some people will think like art, okay, art is a painting or art is a piece of music or art is uh, a film, but it's, I think if you're, you're an artist, you can see art in just about anything. And so it's just, I think it's just human nature. We can't, we can't exist without creating. It's literally what we do. I had a girl ask if she could pick my brain about how to be a full-time artist. And I'm like, I think what people view from you is a lot different than what's actually happening. So I think a lot of people think that all I am all I do is take pictures and, and paint when there's so much more on the back end because I have multiple businesses. So I'm on the creative end of all of them and I kind of section things off. Like I have my painting and then I have my photography and then I have the music label and everything that I do on that end, which I incorporate my photography and my videography into that. Um, but if people think that I'm just sitting here drawing and painting all day and I make all of my money from that and I don't have to do anything else, then that's that's not accurate. And the sacrifices that it takes a lot of the time. I don't go out and party. I don't really drink. I don't, I'm working, I'm creating. When I'm not painting and making content for painting or I'm doing videos or photos or editing the photos or researching. I'm very thankful that art is what I'm passionate about because I can do it until I'm 90. It's literally something you could do for the rest of your life, so not rushing it, not rushing the process, not thinking that you have to put all this art out just to make your viewers happy. You don't have to get in, in an art gallery to be a successful artist. Like two painters could have great careers and do it two completely different ways. There's no right way to be an artist. You can create art from anything. So as long as, as long as I can wake up every day and do what I love doing, then that's, that's success to me.